Welcome to our channel, Love Ireland. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification. Today we explore the question. Is Temple Bar a tourist trap? Local Dubliners will be adamant that the Temple Bar neighborhood is a tourist trap with overpriced pints. Too many tourists. And rowdy bachelors parties. But visitors flock to this area. Temple Bar is a high-profile tourism destination attracting approximately 3.5 million visits a year. Which are the most popular pubs in the Temple Bar area? Tourists flock to most of these regardless of price. The Temple Bar dates all the way back to 1840, and you can't knock anywhere that offers over 450 different types of rare whiskey, the largest collection in Ireland. It's also got a pretty cool bronze statue of James Joyce. Let's talk about Oliver St. John Gogarty's. If you are planning to visit Dublin, then Gogarty's must be on your list. An award-winning restaurant serves the best in traditional Irish food, and a lively bar has traditional live Irish music sessions every day of the week. Accommodation offers self-catering apartments and affordable hostel options in the heart of Dublin city. Next we talk about the Keys. A visit to Dublin would not be complete without a trip to the Keys Irish restaurant. With their great crack, live music and friendly staff, you won't be disappointed. Another great visit is the Old Storehouse Bar. A classic Irish bar located in the heart of Dublin's cultural quarter. The Old Storehouse location is between Dame Street and the Harpenny Bridge directly behind the Old Central Bank building. Next up is the Palace Bar. Untainted, unspoiled and unperturbed by the passage of time, that's what makes the Palace Bar one of Dublin's best-loved original Victorian pubs. Owned by the Ahern family since 1946, they bottled their own whiskey under the Palace Bar brand, a commonplace practice among Dublin pubs throughout the 1940s, 50s and 60s. However, with the development of on-site distillery bottling, this practice disappeared from Dublin in the 1970s, only to be resurrected by Cooley Distillery and the Palace Bar in 2011. Thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe to our channel, Love Ireland. And don't forget to hit the bell notification.